So, hey guys, um, I wanted to do a little quick video and show you my radishes that are coming up and plant a few more things and uh, just kind of talk about a few things. I mm, First, let's take care of business. These are radishes that I planted um, about seven days ago and it's hard to tell. Um, this camera doesn't focus well, but hopefully you can see those little tiny cuties coming up. And there's my hand, give you an idea how big these are. I'm gonna have to thin them out, but for the time being, I just wanna plant another row. I'm hoping to get at least one more row of uh, radishes and some other things. But I'm going to put this on the tripod, and I'm going to start some planning. And I want to talk about a few things um, about social distancing. So hang on a sec. So I wanted to uh, get out of the flower bed. I so the reason that I stopped the video was not because of my cat, but... Um, it was actually a sound test, and it's very hard to hear me. There will be a few parts where I slow down the video and go ahead and talk on the video, and we might have to turn it up. But basically what I'm doing here is just uh, getting another row of radishes put in, and uh, they're supposed to be really close to the top, so I just use that piece of bamboo to scratch out a little tiny little trench and now I'm just putting in uh, seeds across the line. Um, I'm still going on the same bag of radishes so I'm trying to make it last for at least three rows but um, in a minute here I'm going to go back to regular speed and I'm going to start talking again. So. as a marker so I have some idea of where I planted the radishes and that way I know they are probably going to come out and there's a few that seem to have moved from here so I'm going to look at this rock. place them a little smaller the rock the better it is. See if it come up I think. Anyway. So now um and I planned on a third row of just radishes and using this bed for just radishes, but it's been raining a lot. So I've decided I want to try out some onions and I'm just dying to get some spinach. I tried to start the seeds indoors and it just didn't work out for me. So I'm actually gonna uh, plant like two bushes in here and see how they grow. So I'm just gonna need about a Inch. Half inch is about that much, so yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to try to get the hardiest ones I can find. Put the one in there, one in there. I probably should put two, in, but I'm really bad about. Weeding them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up. So I'm going to put that right there, so I know where that's going to come up. There's a little fish is right there. Cover that one up. So now we know we have spinach there. And then because I really want to try some uh, green onions, and I've heard that. 
uh, radishes can grow just about anywhere. I'll probably just dig some area up here and go ahead and cover it. But I plan to put a better cover on here. It's just been raining nonstop, so I've just been using the um, baby gate until I can uh, get, you know, until things grow up higher. So, this is, these need to be spaced. The end spacing is a foot to a foot and a half apart. So I'm going to get in two more rocks because I just want to do, um, and it's a fourth of an inch. I'm just going to do right here. I'm going to measure that. Yeah. About a fourth of an inch. And then get me some seeds out. Oh, these are tiny, tiny. Alright, I'm going to put two in each hole. And I'm going to cover that. Keep my finger there. Okay. Okay, right over top. And then two more. Right there. And you know what? I got three more out, so I'm just gonna live life dangerously and put all three in there. Let's see what happens. And put my little, little rock there. I don't know where it came from, but. I'm going to put it right there, right there, so I have a book, I keep all this organized, I keep, uh, I, need, I thought I was going to use this, but I didn't, and I didn't need that, so these things can go here for later planting, and then I can put my baby gate back on. Hopefully I didn't plant this second batch too low in the ground. I'm a little worried that I might have done that. So, but for now, this keeps the cats from using this as a litter box, and it keeps the squirrels out. If I can't save these, try not to lose them all. And I'd like to fold them over them all together and close them up like that. Now I'm going to leave these here because we're going to walk around front real quick. But one of the things, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the fact that social distancing doesn't mean that you can't Sorry, I got a squirrel right above my head. I kind of, well, move so they can see you on the camera. Oh, there's another one. I don't know if it's gonna show up or not. Anyway, they're watching me to see what I'm doing. Don't you transplant my stuff. Anyway, like I was saying, social distancing uh, doesn't mean that you can't get outside. You can, especially in your yard. And I, for one, was one of the first people to scream and holler when they closed down the beaches and the public parks. My attitude is, why can't we get out and enjoy ourselves? Well, and then it dawned on me, the problem with leaving the beaches and the parks open is that's where everybody wants to go. So if we leave these places open, more people are going to be attracted to that, those areas, and it's going to be harder to social distance. So, authorities just want to cover their want to cover their butts, so they don't get sued. So, that's the main reason. Yeah, a lot of people can say, well, a lot of us know how to behave and how to social distance, but there are those few people out there who are not going to follow the rules, and they screw it up for the rest of us but 
you know, that is the reason for closing the parks and closing the uh, beaches and all those public gatherings. Now, people don't like to hang out on blacktop or on the street, on the road, so that's not something they have to shut down. But in the meantime, you can get out, take walks down your street, you can get out and you can weed your gardens, that is, if Mother Nature ever stops raining on all of us, which I'm getting real tired of. Sorry, I'm getting a little shaky here trying to pull these weeds. But this is where I plant my tomatoes and whatever this plant is, it's just taking over this garden. And I have to get out here and start pulling some of this. But I figured since we were talking, I could be a little productive. And now that I have the camera in my hand, you might be able to hear what I'm saying. Anyway, I uh, also wanted to mention the fact that, yeah, some of us have our bases covered with the stimulus money or unemployment, which not all unemployment pays what it should. So I'm not saying that unemployment is the answer, the be-all, do-all. For some people, the stimulus money is more than what they normally make. Um, for others, it's not enough. So we're all in different boats here uh, financially, but um, even people who are in the best financial position, they're feeling the strain, they're feeling the stress. This, you know, you may think, oh, this is great, you know, at first, that you can stay in and you can just do whatever you want, but it gets old. It gets really old, and people get tired of this. Not to mention there's a certain dawn of the dead quality when you go outside and there's like nobody around. I've even noticed that my neighbors are afraid to get out in their yard at the same time when I'm out or someone else is out. It's like people are afraid this virus jumps 5,000 feet. It doesn't. At least not, that's not what this, the CDC has said. So, you know, six feet is appropriate. That's what the CDC is telling us. And that's what I'm going to do. But in the meantime, I'm still going to get out, still going to get in my yard, and I'm going to do as much as I can when Mother Nature will let me. And when I can't, I'm going to be in my house working on all those silly projects. And, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like working on projects. You just feel like vegging. And you know what? That's okay. It's okay to admit that you just don't have the motivation because all this really takes its toll on your well-being. It takes its toll on your... Uh, it, see, I can't even think straight. This... This crap has got me so bad off half the time, I can't even think straight. I can't finish a thought. And I don't think I'm sick with it. I do think I might have had it earlier. I've had a lot of um, illnesses back in December and January. But right now I'm not sick. I haven't been sick for over a month and a half. I've actually been feeling really, really good. But, you know, my message to you is like toast here. Get out and smell the roses. Get out in your yard. When you see your neighbors, wave. My neighbors are looking at me like I'm crazy talking to myself right now. But anyway, this garden needs some serious, serious weeding. My front yard's in desperate need of some serious work. So hopefully Mother Nature will give us some dry days here soon. But I will leave you with this image and happy social distancing. Take care.